pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's pray. Father God, we ask for your wisdom for our city's leaders this evening as they are about the business of the city. And Lord, again, we ask your protection on those who protect us, both at home and abroad. Guide this meeting to your glory, in Jesus' name, amen. amen. In addition to the agenda, after the mayor's report, we will go into executive session for legal discussion. I'll make a motion we approve the agenda uh, with that modification of the executive session. Yes, sir. Okay. Second to Councilman Parker. All those in favor, please raise your hand. All right. Thank you, motion passes. Minutes from the last meeting are attachment A. Make a motion that we approve the minutes as presented. Seven. All those in favor, please raise your hand. Motion passes. The financial statements we will not have in the packet as it says for, because we closed out the fiscal year 2011, so we'll have our next ones in August. So we will move right into uh, citizens delegation and Mitchell County Development Authority. Hey y'all. Hey. How are y'all tonight? Good, how about you? I'm good. I'm glad I could finally make it for a change. Um, I'm glad we got the wheelchair back. Last week y'all, I mean, last night y'all, I'll be glad I wasn't here because I had a little virus. But not, I like y'all too much to give y'all what I have. <laughs> but um, anyway, I wish I had some really exciting stuff to tell y'all. But um, during the month of June, I've really just been um, like in the office a lot. I've really focused on updating all of our information for Mitchell County. Anything from <coughs> basic information about facts and things like that. Um, our available properties and um, buildings. I'm trying to go through and um, add some to that list. Uh, our, our list is kind of short. Um, so if y'all are aware of any, you know, available people, uh, land that people maybe want to give an option for us to kind of help advertise, you know, um, like the land out there on uh, 19 right across from the John Deere dealership. If y'all are aware of anything like that, please let me know. Um, anyway, once I get all this information updated, I will then turn to the um, websites, like utility websites, state websites, and make sure all of that information is um, correct and up to date um, with our available properties and buildings and everything. Um, I've also decided to um, do a little rebranding of the Development Authority. I am creating a new tagline. Um, I am creating a new logo and um, completely redoing the website. Our website, I feel like, is really not used. <laughs> um, and I think it's something that's a great asset to have for a county to you know, talk about the different <coughs> incentives, tax um, information we may have, available properties and buildings. Um, just. You know things about Mitchell County, so I'm in the process of updating that. Um, let's see. I've, I've been continuing to go out into the community and make visits to businesses within Mitchell County. This past month, I went to um, the Major Turbine Pump and Supply, and I also went out to um, Amtrak, Amtrak dealership, you know the newest one we got in Camilla. Um, it should be completely done. The first um, week or so in August and I plan to have open house. Um, I'm going to pass this around. If there's a business in Mitchell County that y'all, you know, have heard, maybe that maybe they've expressed, you know, hey, I would like somebody to come talk to me about different things that are available to maybe help me with financing or just tax credits and stuff or just if you think it's a business that I should um, visit, I'm going to pass this around and if you'll just write one or so down, please. Um, <clears throat> We had the um, Georgia Competitiveness Initiative, which most of y'all were aware of. That was a really great meeting. Um, we actually had hands-on. Um, we got to talk with people that were not just everyday people, people that actually could make you know, decisions and stuff. It was really great. Um, you know, there were six areas that they were wanting to concentrate on, and um, 
I have them listed. This is just a short, like, brief thing. I have the six areas listed, and what they, um, what we thought, Region 10, was the most critical factor for <coughs> that, um, that strategic area. I think I have one, another one here. Um, I am um, attending tomorrow after lunch. I'll be heading to Atlanta to go to a um, an event that Safe Arth and Shaw is hosting. They're a um, legal firm out of Atlanta, and they're going to be focusing on legal and financial tools to how to um, that you may, that would be necessary necessary in this um, economic time to help us maybe um, develop different ways to get you know new businesses into the area. And I'm participating in Plantation Trace Day, which Plantation Trace is our Southwest Georgia um, Tourism Association. I've been working on also during June um, developing a, a brochure of different tourism um, points for Mitchell County, anything from historical landmarks to the um, Becca gave me the about the historical sign out there. I mean the landmark. What's it called? The directional. directional sign. Thank you. Directional sign. Just the hand building, obviously, and other unique things that Mitchell County has to try to maybe. You know, develop that area um, tourism for Mitchell County. I, um, did you include my minutes and stuff? Did I send? I, I emailed you. You did? Okay. Does anybody have any questions about the minutes that he sent y'all or any questions for me or anything? Again, once I get some of this, as I call it, housekeeping work done, I feel like that I'll be able to get back out there and really, you know, hit it strong with um, actually doing the job I feel like I was hired for. Um, you know, try to recruit new businesses and things like that. This may not be filled up, but I mean, well, let me think about it. <laughs> I can't think this quick. That's fine. There may be some people that may be interested in talking to you, but I, I, I would just email you or Doug. Yeah, yeah, just send me an email anytime. Yeah. Um, He's under the pressure. I can't think of. That's fine. <laughs> I gave it to the county commissioners, and I got one out of them. Yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, but anyway. Any, and I would encourage anybody here, if y'all think of anything, because it's really important. And that's what she's here for us, what Paige is here for us. So if anybody can think of anything, pass along to Doug or send it to Paige or give Paige a call on Camilla and let her know because that's a big part of the job. Yes, I'm working on developing a business event to hopefully have it done um, <clears throat> maybe mid September, October to host that we'll start having annually. I'm trying to do it like as a lunch and learn have um, people from the state people that from the technical college and things like that that are here to assist businesses just so that to make more businesses aware of what we have out there i think that people don't realize how many different you know avenues there are to help them you know you know grow their business or expand their business and stuff so that's something i'm working on and i'm really hoping to um, have it you know done and um, host the event in mid-september or october and as i said can do it every year maybe through the years grow the program to something bigger and bigger. You mentioned the website, Facebook too? I do not. I am a one-man show now, so I have not got to Facebook yet. I'm yeah. going to concentrate on doing the, our website first sure. and then maybe do some, maybe a Facebook page later. Um, I'm just curious. But yeah, that is something that people have brought up to me, and I think that obviously everybody knows how um, everybody uses Facebook these days, so that is something that I, I may do in the future. Does anybody else have anything? Thank y'all so much for having me. Appreciate you coming. Uh-huh. Uh, Miss Becca, Better Hometown. Good evening. Good evening. How are y'all this evening? Good. Heat and heat. Um, I'm brief tonight. The, um, uh, in partnership with the Chamber, the Better Hometown, um, and the Chamber put on the Slice of Summer on June 30th. And after a nice little rain shower came through and went, um, I know that over 20 businesses in over 20 businesses in town entered the homemade ice cream contest, um, and people came out and voted for their favorite ice cream and had hot dogs Sizes. and watermelon slices. And um, from I was unfortunately out of town, but from what I understand, everybody had a great time at that uh, community event. Um, again, I stress everybody to mark your calendars. Da, 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 da. Dinner theater is upon us. Um, we will be doing the performance of um, Fools, written by Neil Simon. It's a turn of the century comedy set in a small village where all of its citizens are cursed with stupidness. 
<laughs> it is a love story. Um, performances will be held August 18th through the 20th at our historic hand trading company and um, tickets are on sale per person or per table and you can purchase those either with myself or through the Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> It's going to be on TV later. Um, I'm sorry, tickets, you can purchase them through me or with the Chamber of Commerce per person or per table. Um, I had the great privilege of being able to be um, an invited guest to a webinar conference last week from a Main Street manager in Tennessee. Um, the topic of discussion was volunteerism and how to improve the success of your programs when working with volunteers with a very limited budget and a very harsh economy in small communities. Um, it was eye-opening for me to see just how the economy just drastically affects the uh, need for people to even feel like they can give, much less the desire to want to give. Um, I, um, I have about five pages worth of notes that I very uh, strategically wrote down um, and I hope to share those with my board members and then bring it on to the community uh, the committee members within Better Hometown um, in the weeks to come um, that is oh one last thing we are one piece of paper away from mailing off the certified local government application for the Historic Preservation Commission um, and uh, Miriam Powell and the rest of the commission and I have been working very diligently for that over the past few months and um, they say the turnaround time to let us know what their um, answer is is typically about four to six weeks so we're very excited about that so um, that hopefully will open up more opportunities for um, the city of Helen so that is my brief synopsis Synopsis. Any any questions? Questions? Just looking forward to the play. <laughs> yes. Glad someone is. I'm going to pass this. Okay. All right. Uh, Chamber of Commerce, Mr. Kent. Evening, all. Thank you for having me. Uh, I had, uh, Lisa had collected the report that I passed out, so everybody should have a copy. I'm not going to read it line by line if you're all capable of reading, but I'll just kind of go over some of it. Uh, one of the things Becca mentioned was Slice of Summer, which was, was great with the ice cream contest and fellowship and community event. But the other thing that the Chamber focused on was an opportunity that um, to get our merchants some more advertising. Uh, through the generosity of the Pelham General and WQLI, we were able to get them some advertising that was about half if they had to go out and buy it individually. Our goal with that was to increase traffic in the stores. Now, I haven't been able to talk to every merchant, but I've talked to several, and we were a success from that perspective. It got more people in, which is what it's about, getting them inside the door so they can look at the products that are there and, and, and give back. It gave the merchants some appreciation. You know, we are always saying shop local, shop local, shop local. So our merchants were able to put up some prizes to say, thank you, we appreciate you shopping local. So it was a great turnout and, and a, a nice event. Uh, if you saw the insert in the paper, um, we focused on the inside with quality of life type articles. It was about the Boys and Girls Club, the Pelham City School System, Southwest Georgia Technical, specifically the Mitchell County campus, Camp Karras, the Rotary Club, the, C the Civitans, of course Pelham Better Hometown and the Chamber of Commerce. Again, the goal was there, if you're out of town and pick up something about the Pelham Journal and, and look in there and see all these elements, you need to, you easily, easily can say, that's a great place to be. I can have all these kind of opportunities above and beyond industry. These are, these are things that are important in my life. So we, we focused on that as well. Uh, we've been fortunate in the last month to entertain about three new business prospects. Uh, I believe one has already actually applied for a business license, uh, Sharon Edwards, who worked for Southwest Georgia Technical for a number of years, is opening an, an outreach education program. Sharon came to see me, we sat down and talked about locations, about paperwork, about contacts, who it is, who you talk to, where you go to gather that kind of information. Additionally, Mr. Martin, who has the, the family table, the new restaurant, is working with a group that is interested in biological farming. 
this is um, fertilizers and supplements that are organic, not chemical related. I've been trying to work with them in terms of a location and again, the general type of contact information they might need. And most recently, uh, a young lady that's looking again at opening a, a title loan company. So while these may not bring in huge number of jobs, it's commerce, it's more business, it's a greater growth for, for Pelham. So we're trying to work with all of them as closely as we can. Additionally, if you don't know, the Chamber works very closely with the group at the hand building. We are first point of contact. It's our front phone number that's on display over there. We show the building a great deal for the rental of what might be receptions, parties, graduations, that kind of thing. The, the good thing about that is that revenue that comes in for that helps a great deal offset the utility bills. Now, I just heard about June's utility bill, so it, it might not be as great in June as it was in some of the other months, but it gets that much more exposure for the building. Anytime anybody has an event here, I get calls immediately after talking about how great it was, how much they loved it, how much they enjoy the building, and it's every avenue that it's getting that word out to. Some of the upcoming events are actually drawing some people that would normally have hosted their event in Albany. That's great to have it come down to Metro County. Um, the facility itself, uh, between <coughs> the atrium and the Pelham Room, there's nowhere in Mitchell County where you can have a larger event capacity-wise. That's another selling point. Along with that, I get a lot of phone calls with people that, that maybe, it was one of the things Sharon and I talked about, is the possibility of having the business located in there. Now, when it gets into that level, I turn it over to the board to discuss the pricing and the lease agreements, but we, we, we sell the building every way we can from the elements, from the history, and then the value of it. <coughs> Um, I'm honored to say that tomorrow night the Chamber will be attending the uh, Pelham Board of Education. They, uh, they've chosen us in their, their Partners for Education program as a system level partner for the contributions we've made to the Pelham City School System. So uh, again, it's something that's important to us to try and contribute back to the education of our children and, and what could be more important than that. Coming right behind that, on Tuesday, August 2nd, the Chamber will be hosting and gratefully with sponsorship from Family Bank, Helen Banking Company, and DOCO, a teacher's appreciation breakfast, which is welcoming them all back, getting ready for a new year. I think everybody can agree that our, there's no one that has a more important job than what our teachers have to, to focus on every day. So we're very honored to, to host that. And certainly, I will assure you, we will have enough breakfast. I invite each and every one of you to come up that morning. It would be a great opportunity for you to shake hands with some of the teachers let them know how much we appreciate everything they do for us as well. Coming right behind that, August 6th is the Wildlife Auction for the Arts. <coughs> Part of what the auction accomplishes is it allows, you know, there's been a, a lot deal of, of cutbacks within education as it relates to arts. Um, our annual art show allows local people uh, from, from little bitty all the way through whatever age to participate in an art contest to see some artwork, to be judged by a professional artist. And from the auction, we're able to raise enough funds that we give about $1,275 in prizes that go out for that. It also accomplishes a $500 scholarship for the Pel to Pelham City School student for their continued education. Above and beyond that, about 5% of that, that contributes about 5% to the operating budget of the chamber. Which so we you know we do look for every avenue to, to bring in revenue there as well. This of course is immediately followed in the first of October by the Wildlife Festival. Um, this is the 22nd Wildlife Festival, but I know it's been renamed from uh, the Gold Leaf Festival originally the Tobacco Festival. While we say this is the 22nd, the festival's gone on for more than 50 years. It's a great opportunity. Last year we estimate that there was between 14 and 16 thousand guests attended. This was a great chance again for all of our downtown merchants to have this traffic come in, visit their stores, see what they have to offer, uh, and see our community and why this is a good place to be. So we, we feel very comfortable about that. As it turns out, I just recently discovered for some old paperwork that 2011 will be the 50th anniversary of the Pelham Christmas Parade. I don't think you let 50 anniversaries just pass without uh, a little bit more than usual. So. Where we're trying, I've, I've been able to find out uh, Robert Murray came to see me. He was the chamber manager from 61 to 67. He's given me all the themes for the first seven years of what was at the chamber. Um, 
at my article in the paper this week was a plea to the community if you've got pictures if you remember grand marshals or themes or anything that we can help share um, we, we don't have a great archive of information but it's something people really enjoy seeing and, and brings back a lot of memories and enjoyment and like I said a 50th anniversary is a you get one so you need to, to make the most of it if you recall a couple of months ago I, I came to one of the work sessions and asked you guys for your input help me how we can do more better at the chamber one of the big topics was Facebook and the website we have started uh, within the last couple of weeks completely renovating our Facebook page it was not set up correctly uh, and we weren't doing with it what we needed to be again uh, at that time as Paige just said a while ago I was still a one-man show I'm, I'm fortunate now I have some part-time help focusing on events like that the, again the website as well to try and bring those things up to another level to share info more information uh, worldwide to get more things out there about Helen. So it looks a lot better. Does it does look better? Good. Thank you. I appreciate it. So that's kind of a, you know there's a little bit more detail. I hope you have a chance to look through it. Uh, whether you have questions tonight or any other time, I welcome any and all of you to come over, visit with me, sit down, talk, go into whatever level of detail you want to, um, and see what we can do. Is there anything I can answer for you tonight? All right, appreciate it. Thanks for coming. <clears throat> uh, you got an email about that? Yes, sir. Okay. Joint development. Anything new? Um, we don't have any, um, I guess, anyone actively pursuing attempt. Uh, uh, we did have several events over the past week. Can't mention uh, or the past month, and um, that can mention we've got a play coming up. But that's about it. <coughs> Anything from schools? No All right. We'll move on into administration committee, and Councilman Brown will preside over that. Okay. Our first order item with the uh, administration committee: police oh, department report. Fire Department Report and the Mitchell County Animal Control Report. I wonder if we might have had a chance to look over. See our inmate house we have 209 inmates during the time this was printed up. Our next item is a resolution agreement for the services between the City of Pelham and the Pelham Chamber of Commerce. Uh, this resolution we want to refer back to our workshop material. This resolution hasn't changed the same as well for the last couple of years. Chance to look over. I know we went over there in the workshop a little bit. I'll make a motion that we approve uh, this resolution and enter into this resolution again with the chamber. Second. All right. Second on Councilman Clifton. All those in favor, please raise your hand. Oh, thank you. Okay, our next item is uh, Pelham Depot uh, lease agreement between the City of Pelham and the Chamber of Commerce. Again, this resolution didn't change any. My motion will approve this agreement. I'll second that. Discussion? All those in favor, please raise your hand. Thank you. Motion passes. Okay, uh, next item is Decision on holding the uh, Sunday alcohol sale referendums for November uh, election. I make a motion that we not hold a referendum this November for Sunday alcohol sales in the city of Pelham. Second motion. All right. Any discussion? All those in favor, please raise your hand. Any opposed? 
she passes. One opposition to that. Okay, our next item is uh, attachment C, uh, closed meeting resolution. I'd like to say the attorney to read this out loud. Okay, this is a resolution that I would read to you concerning the executive session for personnel that we had last month. Uh, so be it resolved by the Pelham City Council as follows. That the meeting held on the 20th day of June 2011, the council entered into a closed session for the purpose of discussing the hiring of personnel. At the close of the discussion to fund the subject, the council did vote for enter into open session and herewith take the following action in open session. Number one, the action of the council and the discussion of the same regarding the matter set forth for closed session purposes are hereby ratified. Two, each member of this body is hereby confirm that to the best of his or her knowledge, based upon advice of the city attorney, the subject matter of the meeting and of the closed session portion was voted to matter within a specific relevant exception as set out as set forth above. Three, the mayor or the presiding officer is hereby authorized and directed to execute an affidavit with full support of the members of the council in order to comply with the official code of Georgia section 50-14-4B. And number four, this affidavit shall be included and filed with the official minutes of the meeting and shall be in the form as required by the statute and which will be substantially as set out above. So if y'all would like to make a motion to adopt this resolution, then you'll be made part of the motion. I'll make a motion we adopt that resolution. Second that motion. Second by Councilman Parker. Any discussion? All those in favor, please raise your hand. Thank you. Motion passes. Um, Good one, sir. Yeah, next, uh, mm -hmm. attachment D, agreement for legal research services for the pilot project. Um, agreement for legal research service pilot project is a hereby agreed between the Global Research Solution doing business as Legal Research Associates of Georgia and the City of Pelham Police Department that the LRA will provide legal service, legal, legal research material to the inmates of the Pelham Municipal Jail as follows. All research services will be performed by LRA staff at LRA facilities. LRA will provide the department a template that it can be modified as needed and copy it to produce the legal research request form <clears throat> to be used by inmates. This form will be two-sided. The front side should be filled out by the inmate. The reverse side will contain instructions to help the inmate complete the form. The department officers and our technicians in the housing unit will provide the inmate request law library access to availability of the service and provide the request form to those who want it. This time I have our city attorney to give a legal opinion on this agreement. <coughs> I feel the legal uh, the agreement is in order. It meets the requirements, I think. Uh, and it's also just personally, I feel that it's always been some concern of mine that these inmates always ask for legal, you know, they won't. Uh, check the law, you know, for their latest appeal. And uh, uh, and through the years, you started off with me making some copies of books in my office, and thank goodness they finally came up with, you know, the law on the disk and such can be used. But still, this is an area that if we don't comply, we can, you know, this, we can get in trouble with you. We don't uh, make a good faith effort, and they deserve to have the law, and so they have the legal remedies that may be available to them. And so the chief, talk with these people and uh, it seemed like a good, fair agreement. The only question I had was as far as being able to, to pay for it. And it's my understanding, Chief, that there's, uh, there will be a way as far as the different inmates that have any type of monies in in the pot, so to speak, they receive to be drunk with from that. Is that correct? We have a minimum of $75 a month, um, but we have also the commissary the money can be taken from but, you know, you, to me, this is a good safeguard, and uh, I think they provide a good service. I've got a good reputation, and good, there's every question about them wanting 
some type of uh, action against us for not affording them with legal research, this would, I think this would more be covered. I'll make a motion that we approve the agreement with LRA. All right. Second. Second by Councilman Davis. Any discussion? All those in favor, please raise your hand. All right, thank you. Motion passes. <coughs> Then we have a appointment to the Health Historic Preservation Commission. Mr. <coughs> um, Ila Williams has resigned. At this time, we'd like to thank Ms. Williams, Ms. Ila Williams for all the hard work and that she have did for the Preservation Comm Commission. And just want to thank her for what she's doing in the city of Pella. At this time, I offer a motion that we accept her resignation. Second that. Ms. Williams wanted me to make sure that everyone understood that she really loved and enjoyed serving on this board, but that time is uh, interfering with her ministry. She's not able to devote the time to that if she, she'd like to. That is, that is reason for her resignation. Okay. We've got a motion and a second. Any other discussion? All those in favor, please raise your hand. Thank you. The next item, we have appointment to the Pelham Historic Preservation Commission. Appointing John White to fill the unexpired term of Ms. Otto Williams. The term ends December 1st, 2014. Motion to accept the appointment. Any discussion? All those in favor, please raise your hand. All right, thank you. Oh, thank you, Councilman Brown. May I approach him with Public Works? All right, we just have one item under Public Works tonight, and this is um, an agreement for natural gas training, of course, with a few incidents that happened across the country in different areas this past year. Uh, it's been, I guess, made more apparent that more training is needed with this and so we are contracting or, or have presented here a contract with Harp and Associates out of Atlanta uh, to continue training and, and keep training for our uh, natural gas workers here at the City of Pelham. And with this, um, is your City Attorney's legal opinion that this is a good contract? I yes. know you've had time to review this. Yes sir, I have. It's, it, it's in order and, uh, and I, I feel like it's Parties and All right, with that, I will make a motion that we accept this uh, agreement with Park and Associates for natural gas training. Second. Second by Councilman Davis. Any discussion? All those in favor, please raise your hand. Thank you. We move on to the city manager report. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd like to thank all of our citizens and business owners during our transition period of our solid waste changeover. Uh, receiving a lot of positive comments about the, the new service. Uh, I'd like to remind everyone that uh, this company does start earlier than the prior company and we do need to make sure we have our rollout <coughs> trash cans out by 7 a.m. It's certainly okay to put these cans out on the curb in the, in the evening before going to bed if you're not an early riser. Anyone with any questions, please contact City Hall. But uh, we believe we have made the uh, transition and everything's going smoothly with that. I'd like to uh, introduce our new code enforcement officer, Mr. James Timmon. He's not a stranger to the City Council, but introduce him to the, to the public. James is on board with us now and doing an excellent job. Same thing, James. Well, I'm happy to be part of the team. Uh, everyone has uh, shown me the right hand of fellowship. I'm looking forward to many more years with uh, many years with this uh, with this great city. James's office is located within City Hall. The telephone number is that same of City Hall 294-7900. Uh, he also has an email address contact him he'll be happy to provide that with you but uh certainly been busy since he began 
That's all I have, Mr. Mayor. Anybody got any questions for Doug? All right. Uh, city Attorney report? I don't have anything you tonight. All right. And I don't either the mayor's report, so at this time I'll entertain a motion to adjourn and go into uh, to, to, uh, executive, session. executive session. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'll make that motion. We go into executive session. Second. Second with Castle Parker. All those in favor, please raise your hand. All right, thank you.